Hi there, my name's Andy Young and I'm one of the automotive lecturers down at Unitech in Auckland, New Zealand and welcome to my Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. Now, on this particular video, very short video, little sort of bite-sized chunks, I'm going to show you how to measure the camshaft um, journals for wear and con obviously condition. You can have a look at and see if, see for yourself that they're scored and things. But as these things wear, then they're going to reduce in diameter. So we need to get, or you will need, ideally, uh, a micrometer that's the right size. And we're going to measure across that journal. Let me show you how to do that. Now, on this particular camshaft, we've got five journals. We've got one here, one here, one here, one here, and one at the back. And when you're measuring a camshaft, uh, journals for wear, each journal requires four measurements. And we need to measure basically across in this plane, so across the camshaft that way, at one side of the journal, and then at the other side. And then we'd rotate the camshaft 90 degrees and take the next measurements. And that gives us a full picture, pretty much, of the shape of that journal. And if any of those measurements are below spec, then it will be a fail. And unfortunately, there's not a lot you can do about it. You're going to need to go and get yourself a new camshaft. Right, so let's get a measurement, first of all, across this journal on this side. Now, when you're tightening them up, always use the little, the little ratchet at the back. Otherwise, you can get a misread. You can over-tighten the whole thing. And get a false reading. You're going to think it's more worn out than what it really is. Cool, okay, let's see what we've got. Dum dum dum, there we are, look. Right, so we've got, it may not focus. It, we've got, oh man, we're absolutely pretty much bang on 27 millimeters. So 25, 26, 27. 27 mil for that reading. Okay, so let's take a reading for the, the far the far side on that particular journal now. There we go. Right. What have we got? Ah, this one's slightly more worn. We're down to 26.99. We're just one increment before 27. So 26.99. Okay, and now we need to do the up and down measurement. So I won't bother rotating the camshaft, we'll just do it in situ as it is now. A bit better for the camera. There we go. Weedle that off. What have we got? Okay. Well, we're a bit, a bit more under now, so we're on 26. 0.97 I'll give that okay we've got one more measurement to do which is towards the back of that journal now and obviously it's important when you're doing these to keep well away from the oil galleries otherwise you're gonna get some really weird readings doing that okay last one uh, 26.99 again. Okay, so as regards the specifications for that particular journal, it can be between 26.959 to 26.975. Okay, so 26.975 will be the as new spec um, but it can wear down to 26.959 it's pretty specific isn't it now obviously on on the micrometer that I've got I can only do to two decimal places can't do to three and we got what did we get what did we get we got well what was our we got 27 we got one measurement of 27 two measurements of 26.99 and one measurement at 26.97. So 26.97 is our smallest measurement. Is that in spec? 26.97, 26.975. Yes, it's definitely in spec. 
and all of those measurements are much higher than the minimum which is 26.959 so say 26.96 26.96 yes just we're okay we're in spec yeah quite happy with that it's a pass so that particular journal is okay now obviously there are, there are other things you gotta look for as well as just doing the measurement you wanna make sure it's not scored or cracked or chipped or gouged or you know there's, it's gotta be a smooth bearing surface that's what you're looking for if it isn't you need a new camshaft okay well I hope you found that video helpful uh, it was a short video I know um, and I'm trying to do this engine inspection in very small bite-sized chunks so that my students especially can go straight in and watch a little video on doing a particular task. And once they finish that task, they can watch another video on the next task. And that's the idea behind it all. And hopefully that's also going to be helpful for you guys too. Okay, if you've got any questions or comments, then please do leave them down the bottom and I'll do my very best to get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please do, more the merrier. It'd be great to have you on board. Don't forget to click the little gear icon next to the subscribe icon uh, to choose um, selecting notifications so you'll receive emails or whatever it is you choose whenever any new videos go up because there may be another one that's of interest to you. Who knows? Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers. Over and out.